Whoa, howdy. Hold up. Sorry to inter, uh, interrupt what you were about to, to watch. I, I understand that you're, you're, you're watching something, but just hear me out just for, for five seconds. Uh, I just created a brand new Instagram and this Instagram is called a very snazzy boy. If you would like to, oh, it's, oh, it, it's appearing. It's, it's right. Goodness me. It's right there. How about that? If you would like to join the server, I have opened up the server. I have opened up five slots for five new individuals who watch my videos. So if it's something that you would like to do, DM me on that, that Instagram thing right there. It's, it's crazy that it just showed up like that. DM me on that Instagram thing right there and we can potentially see. There are some rules and regulations that have to be followed if you're going to be joining the server, but we all love to laugh, have a good time. So if you're just looking for some friends like me and you wanna have a good time, play survival on Java specifically, go to that, that thing right there. DM me, we'll talk, we'll have a grand old time and I'll see if you can be the next Bodycraft server member. All right, sorry for interrupting. Once again, that before it disappears. Okay, have fun. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode with me, your host, Snazzy, and behind me is a chess monster full of resources that we are going to be using to build our shulker farm. Oh my goodness, that one shulker, can't remember what I named him, probably Gerald. Gerald's been sitting over there for, gosh, months probably. I can't even remember when we put, brought him into the world. But he's finally going to be going in his forever home with all of these resources. We are going to be building an amazing shulker farm. The design of which is by Il Mango, And it was featured most prominently in Doc M77's hermitcraft videos that's a lot that's a lot of information a lot of a lot of plugs there but we're ready i have a spot picked out for it so i guess we can just jump into a time lapse and build the shulker farm and finally be rid of this project thank goodness <laughs> Literal hours of staring at this <laughs> later, and this build is done, I think. I didn't follow, this time, a block-by-block -block tutorial because I've already built it in a testing world. So hopefully, everything should be all good. Snowboy's in there. Ah, this is... This is so stressful and I missed my platform. Now this is our coordinates for the nether. Oh, don't want to go inside there. <laughs> Definitely don't want to break this machine before it even starts. And we need materials to get to the top of the nether roof, but also we need materials to break through the bedrock. I genuinely thought that this is already something that I took care of, breaking the bedrock above the nether roof. But the only thing I've done is I dug a hole all the way down there and have been mining it for the netherite that it comes with. But I have not tackled the nether roof yet. So, seems like 
today is a good day to do this, seeing as though we kind of need it. So I'm just gonna do this till I'm at the very top. This is gonna be so boring. All right, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so we can do this on camera here. So what you do is you put the ladder all the way up and you need to be making sure that this block that you're looking at is 127. And specifically, this makes my life easier because this block is 1212. So I don't even really have to type anything in, but typically you wanna note the block that you're trying to remove and you just look at it kind of in this corner and you throw an ender pearl and yep, you're standing on 1212 and you go ahead and you bounce up and this is where our first piston is going. And we'll try again here. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, well, this is, all right, let me get me some stack of cobblestone because we need an extra block. All right, I, oh, I'm gonna sleep first and I will see you guys at, back at the nether roof. Okay, so take two. Oh, okay, that's a good sign. Yes, okay. <laughs> we did it, ladies and gentlemen. We now have a hole down to the bottom there. And okay, so now we have all this all this play space. Look at this. And it only took me seven of my brain cells. I'm thinking I'm in the negative now, but it's okay because we have this. And now it's time to put the TNT away and let's go build the rest of this farm. Let me see what I need to do. I went in through that portal and came out through this portal. And we have the coordinates here. So 11, three is the Shulker farm. Not this one, I messed up my math. So I divided it by four instead of eight. Don't do that. Negative 19, negative 12 is the base portal. So this portal now can no longer stay here because this is negative seven, negative eight. So this whole thing has to come down. And you guys thought I was gonna subject you to taking out the whole portal, I am not. So we have to go to negative 19, negative 12, which is in a generalized negative 12, negative 19 is right here. That's boring. It's not even that far away from whatever. Okay, so this is the new base portal. I just have to find, there it is. So theoretically, this should match up with this one. Ooh, full moon, nope, back in. And then this one should match up with this one. Perfect. And this theoretically should meet up with this. Wow. All right. And this actually is facing north and we want the minecarts coming out south, north, south. So it's facing north, which means that it's facing this way. So that means we want this contraption facing this way. That's That sounds right. Yeah, that sounds right. And this should be everything that we need. The rest of this stuff can go and be stored away inside of this ender chest here, just like that. And we'll break the ender chest now, put this away and grab these two things and we'll head off into the nether. And just like that, this contraption here is the return system for our minecarts. This is a dimensional loader, basically the other uh, first portal that I built will send a minecart through and it'll wind up here. It'll hit this, go into this cactus break, go into this dispenser, get dispensed out, and then go right back into the overworld, uh, loading both dimensions. It was at this point in the video when my good buddy Will decided to give me a call. We had a quick life chat catching up on everything. I was playing Minecraft in the background. None of it was a like really usable stuff. We weren't playing on the server together. It's a lot of like just kind of personal talk and, and it was it was really good. It was really nice to be able to, to chat with him, have a good time. But because of that, you know, I'm now having to, to film this voiceover aspect of it. So what you're watching right now is just basically the rest of building this farm and moving the shulker into the system and moving the shulker into the system was the scary bit it wound up being the smoothest bit later on in the video you will see that actually starting the farm was the not so fun bit it was genuinely terrifying but we got it all working out and it was really good just to kind of catch up with will and have this uh this talk and uh, just to kind of talk about life so 
you know, every once in a while, it's good to just kind of like, while, while yes, we do talk mainly about Minecraft and we are always in the server together, it was just nice to catch up lifestyle and not blocky style. So anyway, let's get back to it. So after a fair amount of procrastinating, this build is done. It's theoretically finished and that's not good. That needs to be spinning round and round. But it's also, okay, yeah, that would make sense because I unloaded the chunks. But we have a chunk loader, so I think I need a button there. Yep, I do need a button there. Let me, let me find a button. Okay, now there's a button there. I don't want to turn this system on. <laughs> I'm so nervous because I only have the one shulker, so if I did something wrong, <laughs> then it's just broken. And I have to mess with the, I have to go get another shulker. Ah, uh, it's okay. You know what? We're gonna do this on camera. We're just gonna turn this on. What's the worst that's gonna happen? Flip it on. Okay. And it came back out. Okay. Ah, uh, let me get into the camera account. Okay, we are in the camera account. There does not appear to be a shulker down there. Not off to a great start, because I think the shulker is meant to be in the system. Now the real question is, where where did he go? Because I think he's meant to be right right there. Oh, <laughs> of course. Oh boy, I found him. Oh my goodness, I found him. So somehow he ended up up here. Yeah, I think that's I think that's I think that's the shulker. So this is salvageable. Oh my goodness, I was just having a freaking panic attack this whole time trying to find him. So what exactly went wrong? Um. Let me try to suss this out and see what happened. So, I found the problem, and I think I fixed it. The middle bit in here, there was a redstone torch missing. That's it. And it caused me so much heartache. Well, I, ow, I, got, it, I, got, I got him back in the system, and all that's left to do is to turn it on, and hopefully, this time, he lands on the middle bit here. I definitely don't want him shooting me, so I'm gonna be around the corner when he falls. Any second now. There he goes. Ah, it, it seems like it's working. It does, it does seem like it's working. Okay, so now all I have to do is go through and replace this with another from inside the nether. I don't know, I'm, I'm faffing about with this thing. This. This is way beyond my comfort zone of redstone that I fully comprehend and understand. But, it appears that it's working. Goodness me, not only does this thing work, it is super efficient. I've only been standing here for about uh, 30 minutes, 45 minutes or whatever. This is a lot of shulker shells. Dang. Okay. Uh, I, I'm so glad this thing's all done and dusted. This this project has been more stressful than the time I was in the army. Sir, we've done a full perimeter sweep and we have not been able to find him whatsoever. That doesn't matter, Sergeant. We will find our men. We do not leave anyone behind. But sir, the war is raging on. We cannot continue. I do not care, Sergeant. You will find our lieutenant. You will sweep the perimeter again and you will look for our lieutenant. Yes, sir. Lieutenant! Lieutenant Dust Bunny, where did you go? We're coming, Lieutenant Dust Bunny. We're coming. And once again, we're back to another voiceover. Uh, this is the time it is because I cannot, for the life of me, figure out how to adjust volume to where my volume and Will's volume are on the exact same level. Uh, I either make mine too quiet and Will's too loud, or vice versa, and I think there's only been one time in the entire series where our volumes are at equal levels, uh, and so I need to go back through and mess around with that. But basically, Will has been putting in a lot of work into his lighthouse, and one of the main blocks that he needs to build with was all three frog lights. So me and Will set off on an adventure to try and find a mangrove swamp so that we can obtain little baby tadpole boys so that we can get the different color frog lights. It was a really fun time. We were able to joke, we were able to laugh, and we did eventually wind up finding the frogs that we needed. It was painfully slow because we forgot 
leads. Leads are a very important thing <laughs> when you're moving frogs. We didn't realize how slow frogs move when they're just walking. Uh, we eventually wind up getting them into like the water and swimming to where we need them to go. It was great. Uh, and then we had to do some portal link upping and uh, the linking up of the portals and stuff was fun. We had a grand old time doing that, and then we wound up building a, a frog life farm, which was also very fun being able to hang out with him and doing that. So, while you guys are kind of like watching this like quick time lapse of like us like getting together and, and, and doing stuff, it's kind of like a time lapse like montage thing. Uh, it was a, a grand old time, but I wanted to take this time and talk, talk a little bit about this offer up to join the BuddyCraft server. Now, this is something that I've been mulling over in my head for a while. I've had a few people in the past comment on my videos asking if I'm looking for new players to join. Sadly, everyone that has inquired about it has been uh, playing on Bedrock, and so you need to specifically be on Java to play. But Will has decided that he is going to join the Coast Guard, which is going to make his appearances on the server extremely spotty and with it just being me and him there's no point for me really to be having a server if there's not going to be other people on it with me and so after a lot of consideration i have decided that opening up the server to some uh, very select few people in the public would be very fun i would love to meet some people who get to watch my videos and also building the server into being something better than what it already is. There are a few rules that are going to come with it. You have to specifically, uh, you know, play nicely. No griefing, no, no, like, you can do pranks and stuff like that, but don't blow up people's bases. We, we've, we've spent a lot of hours getting the server to where it is, so we hope that kindness is exercised while, while you are on the server. And also, this is a non-offensive server, so that means no, any don't, don't build anything that would be viewed as offensive, whether that be symbols, whether that be uh, specific immaturities that people would build on servers. Uh, we don't ex we, we don't want to see any of that on the server. Um, I would reserve the right to ban anybody who wants to. Uh, do or act out in these kind of ways. Uh, this is meant to be a communal fun time for everyone involved. And so and if you wind up joining the server and there's something that you're not happy with, feel free to, to talk to me about it and we'll, we, we can uh, get things situated and make sure that you guys are having as much fun on the server as possible as, as well as the as well as me and will and we just kind of want to build a better community. So with that, you know, uh, give it some thought. If you guys are like me and you guys don't have a ton of uh, friends that also play Minecraft with you, but you've always wanted to be a part of a server, much like the Hermitcraft server, feel free to just shoot me a DM on my new Instagram and we will work something out and get you on the server, hopefully. So anyway, I hope you guys, uh, you know, give it some consideration and let's get back to the outro for this video. And now he is safe and sound in his little box that I could 100% mess with, but we got to get different colored frog, Greg. Frog, frog, uh, frog, frog lights. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. If you really liked it, make sure to subscribe. Give some thought about what little snazzy said earlier. Uh, it is, I, I, I really am looking for for some new members on the server for a reason for the server to exist other than just me and Will on it. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next episode. Good. Bye.